Something bothers me. Well, yesterday I ran into a group of kids playing football. And yeah. And I mean, I asked them what their dreams were. And it didn't seem like they had thought about it. And so, you know, they just spat the words out of their minds. And it, le it left me really thinking. I mean, what? do Ghanaian youth aspire to be? Sir. Yeah? Politicians, priests, or become a celebrity, drive V8s and build three houses in four years. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Is that what you think of our politician? Yes, sir. Sir, but it is true. They don't do anything. They just do yeah, yeah, and collect S. Grasha. Hey, hey, hey. Now, that it's a sweeping statement. Huh? I mean, it is true that politicians are generally perceived to be ineffective. But it is also dangerous to put all of them in a bracket like that. I mean, there are still some very good ones out there. And they need all the encouragement they can get to stay on course. I mean, it is also true that some need some serious prodding. Hmm? But say, they don't do anything to election year. Then they start doing some cosmetic thing. They think we are foolish. Hey. It is true that leadership is everything. However, it is also true that the people get the leadership they deserve. She so say, are you saying we are speakers are leaders? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that to you. You are saying that. But seriously, seriously, in a, in a multi-party democracy, I mean, Every citizen is critical, not just the ruling classes. I mean, so do we pay our taxes? Are we responsible to the environment? Or we throw things just like that anywhere? Especially into our gutters. Or do we practice proper waste disposal? I mean, how do we choose our leaders? Do we vote based on the objective lines of competence, integrity, and patriotism? Or, you know, we just choose our leaders because they are tribes folk. Or perhaps because they are handsome and beautiful. Hmm? Now, a democracy is as strong as the commitment of its citizenry to it. And that includes individuals, church groups, media houses, associations, guilds, um, academia, all coming together and working together. And so, our destiny does not only lie in the hands of the ruling government alone. And that is made up of the executive branch, the judiciary, the legislature, I mean our friends in parliament. Yeah. Our destiny is in our own hands. We have the power to vote the government of the day into power and also have the power to shape the ruling government. I mean, there is hope for you guys. You have the chance to rewrite the script. And that is why I want you to dream big. Say, yeah. I have a dream. I dream that one day, soon and very soon, Sikama in Ghana, our beloved country, will be the beacon of the world for good citizenship. Amen. And so, I throw it to all of you. What do we dream about? What is our dream? What, I mean, perhaps, rather, what should be our dream? What should be the Ghanaian dream? Sir, Ghanaian has no dream. Life is so hard, 
Su su hazır. I mean, you mean you all don't have a dream? No. no. Sir, mm -hmm. we have dreams too, but they just won't come true. Yes. No, come on, now don't be pessimistic. Uh, you're too young for that. You have the world at your feet. Uh, now, now, tell me, what are some of those dreams? What are some of the dreams? Sir, uh, go Yankee. <laughs> okay, what else? Sir, Sakawa. Marry a rich man. So, is that is that is that so? Is it that bad? Yeah, you naughty naughty people. Okay. So so I'm by the executive powers vested in me. I'm going to stretch your brains a bit. Now. We're going to put this in a debate in our next class, and we're going to have a motion. The Ghanaian has no dream, true or false. Now, I want you to discuss this amongst yourselves. I want you to go to town to talk to people. Let your arguments be based on evidence, okay? That is facts and figures, okay? So we're going to do this next week. But dream, dream, dream. Interesting. This is refreshing. Wow. This is a uh, There's a lot of engagement, eh? I don't know people will be interested in discussing this. This is interesting. Russian food for thought. Hey, Angel Baby! <laughs> calm down, calm down. Hey, baby, tell you that. Hey, I want to smash them dead. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Hey, come and grace the occasion. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you also smiling? <clears throat> I'll be careful. What is Sorry. <coughs> You're on fire. <laughs> oh, hello. My baby. My baby. I, I like this. Hey, come and open the floor for me. Eh? <laughs> Ten to six first. Let me see how. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Let's open the floor. Eh? So. <laughs> what is that score? Uh, two zero. <laughs> Give me two points. Just what it. Yes. My cheerleader. Cross super game, man. I'm far better than you. More long tennis. Crossing in. But me and We're playing with a professional. Ah. Yes. One zero. Yes, good. Take the ball. Hey. Zero. One zero. Hey. Play, play, play. Oh. oh. Go on. Ha! <laughs> Two, zero. <laughs> Boss, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it's the bat, it's the bat. Uh, that's just, why the whole thing is yeah, going up, up. Yeah, eh? Olympic standard. Uh, ah, yeah. okay, the bat, bat, but now you see the smashing. <laughs> <laughs> Three, zero. Good day, beautiful people, and welcome to the social media pages. 
Trending today is the hashtag, the Ghanaian dream, started by the indefatigable councilman, Mr. Kwame Brimpong. He has set Twitter ablaze with the conversation and he poses the question, what do Ghanaian kids aspire to these days? Have you read it? Have you heard it? What are your thoughts? The phone lines are open, you can give us a call or you can send us a tweet at Omambapa GH. This guy, only me. My Tyson. Thank you. He doesn't know who he's dealing with. Yes. Then I'll show him! Uh, boss, uh, what do you want me to do? Yes, hello. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello, my name is Asibi. I'm calling from Ayebi in the Sikaman district. As a matter of fact, I know Mr. Bimpom very well. He's an upstanding assembly member and a real patriot. He's just the kind of man we need in high places. I've also followed the hashtag and I can see a lot of people have ideas about what we should be talking about. But hmm, maybe you should invite Mr. Bimpom over to the studio for a discussion. Ghana needs a dream. We need a big dream to make our children to aspire for great things. To do great things, you have to dream big. Old. Thank you. Thank you, ACB, for calling. Our producers actually have Kwame Bimpo in the studios here, and he'll answer all of your questions. Thank you for calling and for sharing. And hey, folks out there listening, ACB says, dream big. Tell this guy that if he thinks he's going to advance his political career like that, then he has something else coming. He has something else. Get me my phone. Are you following the trending news? Yes. I'm well ahead of that. So you leave that to me. Well, that's all I've been hearing. You have up to the close of tomorrow to turn the tides or else you're in trouble. Or what? Like I said. You have up to tomorrow to turn the tide. Or what? Huh? Are you interested in results or issuing threats? Or what? Eh? Or what? Or what? What, 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 what can you do? Mujira Hona, or chatting him on phone, so. Munimnyaza, how can you allow the guy to call me and chat me on the phone? Hello, my favorite supplier. Conrad. Yes. It's just you. The one and only, none other. Senorita, may I? Well, as discussed, I'm here to pick up the remaining items. About that. Don't worry, my lady. Everything is sorted as planned. My word is my bond. See, there will be future deals as well. This is between you and me. No one needs to know. And as long as it remains that way, we will both be fine. That's not the issue. Then there is no issue. See, a lady like your type should be revving in her own eight-cylinder Range Rover and living in a million-dollar apartment. This is just the first of many. I can assure you that I have a ton of suppliers who do the same. I have changed many a life, trust me. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> here you go. You are about to be a very rich woman. My boy will be coming for the delivery soon. Yeah. And this is for you. It is a pleasure doing business with you, Senorita. Yeah. I'll see you. Bye. Of course. Hey. 
Welcome, Mr. Okoto. So for Mr. Benfon, thank you for joining us. We are thank talking you. about the Kenyan dream. Mr. Okoto, what are your thoughts? <laughs> you see, this has always been my problem with Kenyans. Look, because Americans have American dreams, so we too want to have Kenyan dreams. Look at that. Look, tell me. Someone just parrots this and we just want to make him a local hero? Oh! Tell me, what is original about this? There is nothing original about this. I would make a noise all about the place. Ghanaian dreams, Ghanaian dreams. Mr. Koso, what's so wrong with it? If another country is doing something right, what's wrong with emulating it? After all, we live in a global village. That's the point, to learn from each other. You see? There is nothing wrong with it. But tell me, why should we make someone a local hero when the idea itself is not original? Mr. Bempong? What do you have to say to this? Look, I'm not claiming ownership, you know, to the originality of the concept. And I doubt if people, you know, think that I'm a hero for posing the question. Look, just this morning I ran into a group of youngsters playing soccer and I, you know, engaged in conversation. And the subject of careers and dreams came up. Look, I asked my students the same question. And we ended up talking about uh, a national dream. And so I, I thought that I'll put it out there for discourse. Look, the countries that have made it in this world had dreams. I mean, why can't we as Ghanaians also have a dream that we're working towards? In 1957 and the years leading up to that, the entire country wanted one thing. We were united with a common agenda, a common goal. And because we were together, we achieved. Now, we have a proverb in our local parlance. A broom cannot break out. When you take one broom, stick out, it breaks easily. It is true. My grandma. Yes, indeed. If you want to go fast, you go alone, Mr. Koto. If you want to go further, you go together. True. That is not the issue. Hmm? That is not the issue. I know Kwame Pripon here. And everyone know he's here to run his campaign. It is wrong for you to give him your platform for him to be running his shadow company. This guy is just an opportunist, that's all. Can you imagine? This is stupid talk. Nonsense. Ah. Well, excuse me, Mr. Kose Safo. We deal in facts, healthy debates and decorum. I will entreat you to embrace those tenants. <laughs> Let's move away from dreams and talk about realities. I want us to talk about the market for women who were promised shirts and soft loan by this same Kwame Brimpo. Tell me, <laughs> why hasn't he delivered? Eh? Why? <laughs> Shattered dreams, I guess. Eh? <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> talk, they say, is cheap. Uppercut! Uppercut! Brilliant point! Talk is cheap. Talk is very cheap. What is this guy doing in the studio? Why is this guy in the studio? Everything he's saying has nothing to do with the subject under discussion. Can you imagine? <laughs> Kafe, uh, he's oh. a spoiler. Enemy of progress. That's what he is. Okay, let me just calm down. Let me calm down. <laughs> Anyway, So, so, it's a bit slow, but I'm hoping things will pick up. <clears throat> Mr. Mason was here with the final payment. <laughs> 38,000! God bless him. I pray he comes back again. Quickly. <laughs> Mr. Benpong, what do you have to say to these accusations, or dare I say, attacks? You know, first of all, I would like to put my personal philosophy of life out, which is aptly captured in this quote by Colin Powell, who was the former chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, who later became the first um, Secretary of State. Now he says, perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. <laughs> Oh, big words. Just words. Look, we have to be serious. Let's Kwame Brimpong here 
Stop using big words and start providing the bucket women with their shirts. Our poor mothers can continue to be selling in the hot sun. Look, dreams, they say, is flaky and distant. Mr. Okoto, but the words are important. Look, Colin Powell became the first black man to head the U.S. Army. He later on became the first black Secretary of State. Now, Barack Obama most probably was inspired and influenced, you know, by him to become the first black president. I mean, now, you see, the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream, I mean, became manifest in these great men. Look, I'm not saying it doesn't mean that, you know, it is, the dream has fully come through. <laughs> but just imagine that these great men never dreamt. Now, coming to the Ghanaian dream and the matter of the market women. Now, we Ghanaians have long been, you know, trailblazers. Here we go. Um, <laughs> we've spurned Here heroines we and heroes from Yasantua to Sergeant Ajete to Agri to Kwame Nkrumah, um, you know, Kofi Annan, I can go on and on. We have occupied important positions and have served with distinction all over the world. Now, what we haven't done well is to come together and build our homeland. Now, this is the task that is trust on this generation. Look, others have done it. Why, why can't we do it too? Okay, now all this dream talk is, is just to bring the matters into sharp focus for us to define our goal so that we work towards it with all our might. Now, the, the, the market women issue. I mean, how was I to know that you know, the so-called investors had sent my detractors to come and embarrass me? Excuses. I mean, look, yes, I agree, I got played, right? But, you know, this was all, I, I was just seeking the interests of the market women. Uh, look. Now, I, 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 I saw them, I explained matters to them, and I apologized. Well, we've been talking about the Ghanaian dream with Mr. Kwame Primpong and Mr. Koto Safo. You've heard it all. This has been Omamba Park TV. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's our Kwame. Always. He's on top form. This guy is good. We need to go completely black on him. Get me, Conrad. Conrad has found a weak spot. Today. Yes, Dad. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone? Who could you know who could possibly be talking about it? My friend's parents, when they come to pick them up, they say if you keep it up, you could even become a president one day. <laughs> president? Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't believe in yourself. I thought you told the children in the heart to dream big. It's what you've always been telling us, isn't it? Yes. Then why don't you take your own advice? Madam. I want to be a teacher, just like you, Dad. Why? I want to be able to impact knowledge to other people. To give them the tools to face the challenges in life. To become great people. Change agents. Oh my goodness, how old are you again? I'm nine and a half, heading to ten. But you sure sound like 70. I tell you. <laughs> my dear baby. What do you want to be in the future? Is there anything you dream of? Anything you aspire to be? Hmm? Hey, young man. Your mother is talking to you. Now put away that device and respond. Respectfully. I don't know. Okay, do you want to think about something, something worthwhile? Like... Um... Like, um... Like you'd want to be an artist? Or a poet, perhaps? Uh, I, look, uh, I don't know. Figure something out. Madiba. Ah, Kwame, Kwame, please, please. Auntie Kokaile, what do you want to become in future? What? 
I'm not old enough for you. I mean like older. I don't know. I want to be a lot of things. Like a sleigh queen? Yeah. What? No, I said this to her. Where is that from? Excuse me. Great 